All right, welcome to your second installment of the bag system. So we'll get started here. So we're working, the game is gonna be close or far. So whenever I hold the pads out, I'm calling close, as in close to the boxer, or far, far away from the boxer. And they're simply reacting to the, the type of strike that I'm calling for with the angle of the pad. So they may throw left hand to left hand, or maybe left hand to right hand, it just depends. So here I call close, and he throws a right hook. Here I've called far, he throws a right uppercut. But you see one was to the, the right hand and one was to the left hand. It depends on the angle of the pad that I'm holding. He's just reacting to the target. So he gets the call of far, and then he looks to see what kind of punch he needs to throw, and he throws that punch. So there is no real right or wrong answer on which hand that he throws. Um, essentially, he just wants to make sure that his knuckles are hitting the flat surface of the pad. All right, so here I've called far, and now I'm creating a little bit of an uh, obstacle with the way I'm holding my arms. He's got to punch around my arms, just as if you're sparring somebody, you're fighting somebody, and their hands are up. You may have to get around their hands. So I'm calling that one I called close, and, and this also works, once again, the range. Does he need to step in, or does he not need to step in? Okay, so play with this, have some fun with it. It's simply close or far, and the close and far is in relation to the boxer, to the pad, all right? So now we're gonna get into the combinations. So the first combination is simply a jab cross and we're doing it in place. We're not going anywhere. All right, just getting used to the, the punch combination that we're working. Now we're gonna start adding a step. So one shuffle step before each punch. So in this case, the left foot should move first. Left foot, punch, left foot, punch. All right, he's closing the distance as I'm moving back. Now we're gonna move into where he simply takes one step, one shuffle and throws the combination. So you can see how this can kind of progress, start off in place, and then one step with each punch, and then one step and throw the combination. All right, so as your boxer is progressing, you progress through the footwork, you know, whatever's working for them and working for you. But as the coach, make sure that you're moving back to create that range and that distance that they have to take a step if you're wanting them to take a step. Now we're gonna move on to the combination with the kick. So it's a right cross with a walking inside leg kick. All right, and you see that, uh, Due to the length of the legs of my boxer, uh, I'm using both hands to, to give myself a little extra protection there on, on the pad hold. So he shuffles in, throws his right cross, and then does a walking inside leg kick. So make sure that the boxer has the, the toes of the right foot pointed out in the direction that he's gonna throw the kick. So he's simply just walking straight up through my leg. It really should kind of be at a 45 degree angle on the inside of the leg, uh, striking with the shin. All right, so, uh, the drill here is whoops is a shoulder roll drill so he's going to throw a jab hook cross and then he's going to do a shoulder roll and this kind of shoulder roll is known as a Philly shell and he's going to come out with a right cross left hook right cross so jab hook cross shoulder roll cross hook cross all right so the, the shell and the, the shoulder roll he wants his left hand basically kind of hugging himself around the waist and his right hand on his cheek and then he tucks his chin behind his shoulder and turns slightly away and then comes out with a cross hook cross. High five, good job. All right, you guys have fun, go practice. If uh, you need any explanation further, uh, give me a call, send me an email, text me, whatever. But uh, enjoy it, have fun, let me know how it goes. All right, we'll talk to you later.